a solution providing mentality. Have a solution providing mentality. Luke chapter 4 verse 18. Luke chapter 4 verse 18. Media, are you there? Jesus speaking, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me. He did not anoint me for fancy. He did not anoint me to have sunshine body. He did not anoint me so I can be smiling at everybody or showing up in posters or showing up on billboards. No. He did not anoint me so I can have a large chair in church. No. He did not anoint me so I can be wearing suit every day and just wearing changing uniform. No. He anointed me to do what? Preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal what? The broken hearted. He has sent me to preach deliverance to the captives. He has sent me to recover the sight of the blind. The solution I'm here to do is to set at liberty them that are bruised. If you, your life must count, you should be what? Solution providing in your mind. You should have a solution providing mentality. Have a mind that thinks of how can I better the lives of others. You have to come to that point where you look inwards and ask yourself, what do I have to give? What value, thank you, Papa, what value do I have to offer to my generation? What am I uniquely gifted in that I can give to my world? Listen to me, no matter how poor you are, there is still something you can give. No matter how uneducated you are, there is still something inside you that you can give. The challenge we have is that many people do not look inwards. Rather, they are looking at other people's gifts. And you forget that we are all uniquely created. Everyone having their own unique set of skills, unique set of gifts, unique set of anointing. Jesus did not bother about the people that had come ahead of him. He said... The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. I don't care what others are doing, but He has anointed me to preach deliverance to the captives. The next pastor by the doors, by, by the street, might be preaching something else, might be doing something else, but there is something we have been uniquely anointed to. So others can be preaching prosperity, others can be preaching deliverance, others can be preaching prayer by fire, but in this house, we have been anointed to give what? The oil of enthronement to everyone that comes. You need to figure out for yourself what have you been uniquely gifted to do because in all honesty every anointing of God upon you is there so that you can solve a problem. It is not there so that you can look nice, look fancy. I told my son the other day, any vision that you have that does not involve bettering the lives of somebody else apart from you is no vision at all. It's no vision at all. Anointed to. Anointed to. You have been anointed to do something. Figure it out. Find it out. Because it doesn't matter how much you admire what another person has been anointed to. You have been anointed to do something. You have to find out your own. Work it out. <laughs> 